the play is we're going to use Kamala Harris and, and now Governor Tim Waltz. Oh, he's so he's so statesman. Oh, he's he's so moderate. You know, it it's really hard, really really difficult to make Kamala Harris seem like a moderate in any way whatsoever, or let's say even a bit more moderate. But all of us Minnesotans in the audience and, and everybody else around the country now is, is getting to know Tim Waltz. And you realize that Tim Waltz is definitely further to the left than Kamala Harris is. I mean, that's, that's really difficult to do. That's no easy task. You know, when you talk about putting tampons in little boys' bathrooms, the role he played in 2020 after the George Floyd situation, and the list goes on and on and on, not to mention the stolen valor or the, the comments about serving in a way that he didn't. And, you know, I'm nobody to speak on it. I didn't serve myself. But if the, uh, if the allegations hold true, it is one of the most dishonorable things that, that is on Tim Walt's jacket uh, in, in his latest VP bid. Um, one of the things for Minnesota that I think we all have to remember is that this man was in charge of an $18 billion surplus and not a single penny of it went back to the people. Not a single penny of it went back to the American working class citizens, the Minnesota working class citizens. And that is the hallmark of a communist regime, isn't it? You pay your money in and even when you win, even when we go ahead, even when we're, even when we're positive, even when we have money to spare, it never comes back to you. It, it finds its way to, to, to be, you know, moved around to the, the powers that be, you know, whether it's some union or, you know, the police, the teachers, not the police, the teachers down there in Minneapolis, the teachers down there in Minneapolis, they always want more money. And we're going to drive that narrative home once we get through this primary about, about this ticket, this Kamala Harris, Tim Waltz ticket, because it is, it is the calling card, the Democrat platform. And, and I said on my podcast last night, if you watch with Professor Penn, please call me crazy. We talked about the desire for this neo-Marxist, neoliberal, neoconservative world order 